<laughs> Yikes. Room a roundup for you this week. We got a big one. Grand Theft Auto 6 is in the news. There was a massive report on Bloomberg by Jason Schreier detailing a lot about Grand Theft Auto 6 and the new culture at Rockstar. Let's start with details on the game. It will feature a female protagonist for the first time in a 3D Grand Theft Auto. She will be Latina, and she will be a part of a pair of bank robbers inspired by Bonnie and Clyde. It's codenamed Project Americas, the name derives from originally going to be set in territories in North and South America, but that was scrapped to help negate crunch. Now it was set in a fictional version of Miami, presumably Vice City. Now this report also focuses on the cleaning of Rockstar's culture. Among other things, it's reported that there's a better office culture, a focus on reducing crunch, mover of abusive managers, more full-time employees, and a restructuring of working conditions. It's also stated that the mode called Cops and Crooks was shelved following the killing of George Floyd in 2020. Also, less, quote, punching down jokes, end quote. Yeah. They, they really came out and just gave this and gave them just glowing reviews this last week. Jason Schreier coming out there, basically a PR guy for the fucking studio. Very excited for everything he fucking said. Everything I just read, I'm like, all right, I want to see the game. I can't wait. Now, I want to say that they originally projected. I forgot to write this down, but I'm going off memory. I want to say they originally projected the game to launch of uh, er, uh, mid next year to uh, early 2024. But the uh, developers in the studio were very doubtful that would happen, just so everyone knows. So I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see this till late 2024 to 2025 at the least. What did you make of this, Isa, when you saw all this? Yes. Uh, top of my thoughts, if I may. Please. The First of all, is it a little sad that we have to... <laughs> That we have to highlight that mm. a studio is 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 doing these kinds of things that yeah. we should be doing already. Yes. Right. However, I also think it is extremely important that one, not only are we getting this kind of um, expo on a big, huge studio, uh, actively engaging with avoiding crunch, just like other stu- big studios have done, like recently, like Naughty Dog, right? T yeah. Part One, no crunch. Uh, but Rockstar, this level, this quality of game, no crunch, actively getting people out that are contributing towards a toxic work culture, actively trying to make their writing avoid any kind of punching down jokes, avoid anything that might be distasteful, and only focus on the things that make Rockstar great, which is their so- satire and social commentary. All this stuff is so good, considering how, like, how... Sh- I don't know. Can I cuss? I don't know. No, please, cuss. please, how please. Terrible. Fuck shit. How, ass. how terrible. Ass, okay, how shitty the industry is for so, for so long, right? Getting like report after report on Activision, like already doing the bare minimum here, just getting people rid of uh, out of their studio that, that are shitty people is mm. already doing like, a way better job than anything Activision has been doing. So, top of my thoughts is like, yes, we can applaud this because we're getting examples at like the biggest levels, not just arguably the, small the stuff. biggest. Right. I yes. think I think Ar- this yeah. is arguably the biggest studio probably we have right now. So I agree yes. with everything you just said. Yeah, we are getting an example of pretty stellar work from not only seemingly the management, but also just everyone overall. Someone definitely went in and cleaned house. So that shows mm-hmm. that someone took all the criticisms to something personally and they made sure to fix all the issues so let's hope that that pans out well i do think um uh what was i gonna come with that yeah yeah i do think um i do how do i want to put this i want to see what the game is like since we are now one short of who founded the studio blanking on the gentleman's sure. name um but uh we recently had one of the head writers that wrote basically every grand theft auto leave the studio and we will see how this uh, goes down when it comes out. I think it's going to be good. Now, still, we're still asking the questions because as far as I can understand, the article didn't answer if it is just a single player game yet. It didn't really answer that. So maybe it's both. Maybe it's all. I remember there's been leaks and leaks of it's it is a single player. It isn't. There's there's this there's a division like scenario that we're going to get. Who knows what it's actually going to pan out to be, but. I do find it interesting that they were originally going to seemingly make it, hey, this is Project America's, you're going to be in multiple territories, but they actually cut it yeah. because they probably were just like, the scope of this is just unrealistic. So they just went with the tried and true of just Vice City. They did detail also in the um, Bloomberg article that the game will be receiving missions and new locations. I don't know. I'm curious what that means. I'm assuming we're getting what we're getting with Grand Theft Auto Online next 
right now, which is like every, I want to say what quarter, probably maybe every other quarter they get some new thing to do. Like they added like biker gangs to it. They added like the military like thing that you can do. Like there's so much in the game. So I imagine that's what they were talking about too, but I'm very interested to see if there will still be, I will turn it on and I'm playing a single player game or this is a division open world. You're wearing around. You'll see other people type of experience. Mm. I actually have something I want to, I want to please respond to. Okay. I have to start somewhere else though. Oh, so the two points, two points. One, it's interesting. You went more small scale, like service stuff. Cause that, that's definitely going to happen. Right? right. Because GTA online prints money. Yeah. Whatever that version is going to be for GTA six, uh, it's going to be that as well. Um, and so they have to deliver small scale stuff like this, these, these constant drops of content to keep people engaged in, in mm-hmm. their world. But I was thinking immediately, I went to GTA 4 um, DLC, which is uh, Ballad oh, of Gay Tony. Ballad of Gay Tony, then, Lost in the Damned, yeah. Lost in the Damned, like those kind of levels of, it, oh, but on a bigger scale, right, with new cities and new missions being introduced in this one. Uh, the second point is that there's oh. another rumor. I don't know if you've heard this. Oh, please. You want to hear this rumor. Please, please, please. Lay it on me. According to the leaker, I don't, I don't know the person's name, um, that leaked before RDR2 came out, leaked the map months or years before it actually came out. I Turns out the map story. was actually true. Leaked information on GTA 6 about the playable characters, and it went beyond the Latina character. You ready oh, for this? Oh, yeah, please. It's a, it's a set. Uh, it, it's not a set. It's twins. The, the, the Latina is a kind of gang member drug pusher, and the brother is, a, uh, is in the DEA. Whoa, and okay. And immediately I started thinking about the way like huge mission structures happen in Grand Theft Auto. Of course, the heist in GTA 4, yeah. and then all the heists you do in GTA 5. And I started thinking about how much fun Rockstar might have with mission structure there. Um, think about like a, a culminating mission in some, somewhere in the game. Um, where you start off as like the DEA agent who is like trying to take down this like huge drug bust and halfway through the mission you get the other perspective that actually the person that is doing the, this drug trade is the DEA is agent's the sister. Sister. Wow. And so, yeah. And so the mission changes and uh, I think the possibilities there if this is true is going to be super awesome. Yeah, I'm and very plenty of excited. Stuff to... Sorry. No, no, please, 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 please. Keep going. Plenty of stuff to satirize uh, of course with... Uh, like police especially yeah. now with the war on drugs status. yeah we can yes. fucking go on with that drugs. right um but yeah it they also did uh beat around that there this isn't an only character situation there is going to be another character at least to play as that is if that is true oh wow that sounds incredibly fascinating and as soon as you started detailing that i could already picture in my head yeah you're in this warehouse you're trying to get out it's like some product and you hear cops coming you got to work your way around your brother is the one that's coming oh wow yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i'm very excited for grand theft auto 6 but it's one of those things where i'm like i don't know it doesn't even feel real yet although i know it's coming i i just i'm still not like excited as if like what's an example like like i'm excited for gotham knights or something like i i know that's gonna come whereas grand theft auto 6 i'm just like all right you know i'm still waiting on this yeah. to come sure drama Seems all is not well as Aspire Media. The studio currently remaking a Star.